What's up, good people? What's up, good people? We back again, and today we got the legend, <laughs> Gene Deal. Today we're gonna be reacting to his interview again with the Out of Dialogue. Shout out to the Out of Dialogue. You know, man. You know, Gene Deal has been standing on business when he came when it comes to Diddy, and bro hasn't been you know holding his tongue back whatsoever since i have encountered his interviews and anything where he speaks on diddy he has been saying the same thing he has been standing on business yo you gotta give props to gene deal man you got to give props to gene deal because a lot of people were a bit you know skeptical about him and they didn't they didn't take you know much of what what he was saying you know as truth as the truth so yeah it's, it's it's quite a revelation to see that a lot of the things that he has been saying for all these years and all this time everybody is now has now jumped on the bandwagon so we salute you uh we salute we salute you oh my goodness we salute you Jin Deal. um you know for exposing all the evil that this man has been up to Anyway, if you are new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe. Please make sure you like, you comment. Let's talk. Let's share our thoughts about the, the you know, everything that surrounds the Diddy case. Um, do you guys think that he will make it out? Do you guys think that he will, you know, eventually be given uh, some time to go uh, back to his home? Maybe, you know... His bail hearing eventually, you know, somewhat be granted. Do you guys even think that the trial will start before anything crazy happens to him? I mean, yo, I don't know. You tell me in the comments. Let's talk it out. Anyway, today, like I said, we're going to be checking out Jindy. Let's hear what he has to say as I react to it. Um, yeah, let's go. How you feel about Dunn suing Diddy? I could be shooting myself in the foot, but I said this on my show, so I know, excuse me, I know people gonna jump on this like a fat rat in a cheese factory, but I don't care. When we were in the studio one night, Dawn them wasn't there, but Puff had his little street team, engineers in there. And he said, and I said this before, he said, they gonna keep messing with me and I don't know who that they was. It could be their parents, it could be their management team. They gonna keep messing with me and I'm gonna drug all of them up and pimp them out to my neck. That's what Puff said about Danity Kane. Ooh. What? <laughs> Yo. <sighs> Whether he was playing, cause they was laughing and joking. And I said, out of my mouth in front of him, man, I'm somebody daughters. What the fuck is you talking about? Nigga? I got daughters. That's exactly what I said and walked out the studio. So my whole thing about that is this. If he did it or if he wasn't playing, did he say it out of his mouth? Yes, he did. Yep. Did I hear him say that? Yes, I did. Damn, son. Kennedy Kane? Oh, Puff is out of line, man. Puff is out of line. I don't know, man. The guy... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Puff was watching too much movies, man. Because 
he's he's lit he was literally out there acting like you know the the godfather or some or some 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 you know <laughs> my goodness I mean even if he was joking like these are women, man, that you're talking about. These are, those were girls, you know, that you were speaking of. Like, just distasteful. But I ain't in, the, but I ain't in the indictment. <laughs> you think he gonna get sued by any other bad boy artists? It depends on where they at in the music business. It depends on what. Yep. Yep. Facts though. If they if they still stand to gain something, you know, to further their music careers, then definitely they're not gonna say anything. But if it's done for them or they're just tired of him, then of course some will step forward and start, you know, revealing more on what he has been doing to them or any other person for that matter. But if they still trying to climb up the charts and they still trying to, you know, be in this entertainment uh, business thriving, I honestly don't see them exposing Didi in any way, unless if there's a court order for them to come forward and, you know, then yeah. What they trying to do in the music business. Some of them might be still trying to write behind the scenes. Some exactly. of them still might be trying to sing, do songs or whatever. It depends on where they at in the music business, man. Because mm -hmm. what happens is that that's just like I explained that the other day on the Gene Deal show is that when individuals have a dream to be something, whether it's in sports as an athlete, whether it's uh, 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 a band member in the music business or a singer in the music business or even a comedian. When somebody has the power over you, you may not come out, bro. You might not say nothing. You might just keep trying and keep trying and, and fake it until you make it. And I think that when people see that he was losing his power and his grip, it might be many, many more people that want to tell the true story behind their relationship with him. Did you know that the locks, bro, did? I think we all we, we always love you, Big Papa. The locks did that for nothing. They didn't get nothing out of that. All the proceeds were supposed to go to Big's mama. Hmm. It's a dude that goes around and he investigate publishing on artists and for artists. I knew this years ago. Did you know he finagled the situation where Miss Wallace only got 75% and he got 25 and the locks got nothing? Crazy. But they end up working it out once the locks and them people investigated that. Now, I ain't never spoke to the locks about that. I spoke to the dude that investigated the thing and found it. And this was years ago. So the locks ain't got nothing to do with what I'm saying. This the kind of, man, listen here. It's crazy. Yeah, that is crazy. But I want to talk about mm. this lawsuit by Dunn, right? And I want to get your opinion on it. It's a part in this lawsuit where she alleges that she was at a dinner with Neo, Usher, and Jimmy Alvin. And Diddy, he punched Cassie in the... This is what we're here for. This is what we wanted to hear. This is what we wanted to hear right now. What happened? For Diddy to punch Casey. In front of Usher and Neo, man. In front of people. You know. And nobody did nothing. In the stomach. And no one did anything. How you feel about that? They were part of the dinner. 
and they watch Cassie get abused in front of Puffy abused Cassie in front of them. And neither one of those men, and they probably security was around too, did nothing to stop what he had did to Cassie. Now that's just that's just crazy right there, bro. That is just crazy. Usher probably got a daughter. Neo probably got kids. I don't know. Jimmy Iveen, you know, he take about 15, 20 scoops of sugar in his coffee. So hmm. all those cats there, supposed to be men, watch that lady get abused right there in public and they did nothing, brother. They did nothing. That goes to show you the power that he had mentally over them. Hmm. Here go a woman witnesses and this witnessing it and said, they said nothing. Yo, man, stop. Don't do that. Yo, not here, bro. Easy. Yeah. Nothing. Damn. Don't do not do nothing. Say something. Yeah, hit him with that, you know. Yo, Diddy, yo, not here, man. Just wait until we leave something, you know. You don't need to be disrespectful towards him because already you are afraid of him, I guess. But just to like, you know, yo, man, like trying to. This just goes to show just how intimidating he was to all these guys. She said they didn't do anything and they didn't say nothing. Hmm. That's the bad thing about if you're not going to do nothing, open your damn mouth and say something. And that's a lot wrong with our people right now. They don't even want you to say nothing. Yo, that's crazy, man. Cassie really went through the most. She went through the most, that poor soul, man. She really went through the most. Imagine being vi violated in front of people and they say and do nothing. And these are not even strangers, man. These are your acquaintances. These are people, you know, you've been around more than once, twice, and they do nothing. And this, this also goes to show just how trapped she was. Because, I mean, if you got people who are in the same business as you are, and they know the abuse that, that, you, are, that you face on a daily, but yet nobody is standing up to this man like first of all who do you go who do you run to you know where do you even gather the strength to stand up and say enough is enough around that time you know so this just goes to show the control he had even on her mentally the control that he had on everyone around him. Like dude really felt like he's, he, you know, he's God, basically. And Neo, we've recently seen the, I think it was a video on IG where uh, his baby mama, you know, took a video of him. I think he was faded a bit. I think he was, drunk or something because he didn't strike me as somebody that was you know in his rightful state just how he handled you know whatever that was going on there and she started just going at him calling him diddy jr this and the third you know um talking about him having uh a free cops in the house while kids were around you know all the crazy stuff so Man, I don't know, bro, but uh, clearly it's a norm. Um, uh, this whole, you know, activities and all this crazy stuff. But remember, like I said on the previous video, um, some of the some of these things are rituals, and people are not aware of them. Yes, it is nasty. Yes, they are disgusting. Yes, 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 everything. Like yes, yes. But 
let's try to look beyond the lens of them just being gay, bisexual, all of, all of that. These are rituals, guys. Like, there is... You know, and I'm sorry for me to getting for getting into this bag, but I have to. Um, you know, these are rituals that are done to just boost their dark spiritual levels higher. You know, it's crazy. We live in crazy times, man. Yo, strength to Cassie, man. Yo, I can't, I can't help but to empathize with her on this man you know strength to cassie may the good lord keep her you know grow her and just you know make her a better person the rest we'll talk about later on her but right now strength to her yo thanks for watching again guys um don't forget to like subscribe comment leave your comments or rather um let's hear what you have to say and uh i'll see you guys on the next one peace and love i'm out